shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. You can finish the line to that song. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Millie Pertry here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make my critically acclaimed southern fried fish from my former restaurant. I'm gonna bring this recipe to you because I want you guys to come into my childhood a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys everything from A to Z, from seasoning, what type of fish to use, what kind of vehicle to fry it in, and last but most importantly, how to eat it and what condiments to eat it with. Let's just get to it. The star of the show, fresh whiting fish. We are not gonna use that frozen stuff. I know fresh is more of a northern thing, but if you cannot find fresh whiting, you can use catfish, you can use flounder, but fresh fish is a must. So the beauty of making fried fish is that you can reuse oil from something like french fries or fried chicken. You'll just make sure that you cool it completely, strain it to get all of the extra particles from your previous fried dish, and put it back in the pot to make another wonderful recipe. And now I'm gonna make the lemon pepper seasoning. So use garlic powder, onion powder, some fresh cracked black pepper, the zest of some lemons. Make sure you don't get the white part is bitter. Oftentimes people think lemon pepper is just as simple as lemon and pepper, which it totally can be if that's all you want is a lemon and pepper flavor. However, the dried version is a seasoning blend. So that's the reason why I added the onion and garlic powder. The thing about when you make your own seasoning and spice blends, you can control how much flavor you want in it. You can make it with a lot of lemon flavor or not. You can make it as spicy as you want from the pepper. You know, it's just very important that you make things your own. Okay, we're just gonna mix this together. Okay, we're gonna get some cornstarch in here. And that's the trick to seasoning blends, the store-bought seasoning blends. They add a little cornstarch so it doesn't stick together. And that's it, that's our lemon pepper. This is a seasoning that you could totally save, but keep in mind, the more the lemon zest dries out, the more strong it'll be. So now that we have our lemon pepper seasoning made, let's get into seasoning our fish for our fish fry. So the first thing you always wanna do is get your oil hot. We want it about 375 degrees so you're not waiting for it. You can use any combination of seasonings you want, but today I'm gonna to use the fresh cracked black pepper. I'm gonna use some of the seafood seasoning and I'm gonna use some buttermilk and I'm gonna use a little bit of our lemon pepper seasoning that we just made just to make this a bright, fresh dish. Again, whatever you have in your pantry, if you wanna add it, feel free to do it, but don't overdo it. We still want to be able to taste the flavor of the fresh fish. So some pepper. When you pick out fish, you wanna make sure that the eyes are clear. You wanna make sure that it's not slimy. And I know it's gonna sound stupid, but you don't want it to smell like fish. If fish has a strong fish scent to it, that means it's bad. We don't want that. Add a little bit about lemon pepper. I'm sprinkling on top. Now I'm gonna massage in. You just wanna make sure it's all evenly coated. I'm gonna push it in like so. And now we're gonna add some buttermilk to our fish. And it adds a little bit more zip and zang. Let me get that evenly coated. And the buttermilk is gonna help our cornmeal and flour stick. Now here's the thing about cornmeal and flour. Growing up on whiting, my mom used to always use flour only. And we used to eat a fish called porgy and that was with the bone in just to head off. And she used to cornmeal that. But I like the extra texture that the cornmeal adds to the whiting. So I, that's why I add both. It's like the best of both worlds, that crunchy with that light airiness of the flour. Okay, now we got the buttermilk. I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash. So I have a little baggie here and we're just gonna add our cornmeal and flour to it. Shake it up, shake it up. Some flour. 
couple pieces at a time. We don't want to overcrowd the bag because we don't want it to stick. We we'll put it in here and shake it up. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And we're evenly coated, which looks great. All right. Fun, get a little workout in. Now we're gonna take our fish and we're gonna place it directly in our oil away from us. And this goes by really quickly, a couple minutes, and you know it's done when it starts to float and it gets golden brown. And, and remember, you do not reuse this flour. If, you can, if you're having a fish fry, you can totally add your shrimp to this, you can totally add your scallops to it, but you will not take this bag and put it back in the refrigerator. That's a no-no. Fish, you want to add about 375 degrees, but you know it's hot when you drop your first piece in and you hear that sizzle. That's how you know your oil is at the perfect temperature. And we don't want to overcrowd our pot. We always want to use something high up on the sides because of course we're deep frying. We don't want any splatter. You want crispy golden brown fish and when it rises to the top, it's done. So our fish is almost done. So I'm going to take a baking sheet. Feel free to use a plate. You can use a wire rack, but I'm going to use some paper towel to drain it. You kind of know your fish is done when it can hold up in these tongs and not break. Nice, crispy, golden. Beautiful. Look at how quick and easy that was. See, all soul food doesn't take a long time, but I think the beauty of soul food is it's seasoned food. It's good food. Food that has a story. Food that brings people together. While the last bit of our fish is frying, we're gonna make a quick tartar sauce. So we're gonna take some mayonnaise, some sweet pickle relish, a little bit more seafood seasoning, a little bit of our lemon pepper seasoning, and a lemon. Use as much or as little as you like. So look at how quickly that tartar sauce came together. Look at that, couple seconds. So the things I like to add tartar sauce to is all seafood. Fish, shrimp, scallops, whatever. I'm gonna check our fish. So now that we have all of our fish out and we have it drained on paper towels, you can hit it with a little bit more seafood seasoning or you can hit it with some salt and I'm gonna also hit it with some of our lemon pepper seasoning. I like to add a little hot sauce to mine. I'm just gonna add a little a little sprinkle, okay? And then we have our tartar sauce. And normally you could eat this with, you could do a fish fry, whatever case may be, but I'm just gonna go straight into it. A little dip. Light, fresh fish, not over seasoned. It just brings me back to my childhood. It brings me back to my former restaurant. In this chapter, I showed you everything, how to season the fish, I showed you how to fry the fish, I showed you what vehicle to cook the fish in, and I showed you guys what type of fish to use. I'm hoping that me showing you these steps will inspire you to use my super simple southern fried fish recipe, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon, because remember, you are the embodiment of infinite possibilities.